All right, here we go again. Thank you very much for joining me. I love this particular lesson because we're going to bring a little bit of art into it. We're going to learn how to multiply fractions using paper folds. We're going to essentially fold paper. You're going to be following along as I go through this video. I'm not going to be folding paper. I'm just going to be drawing the fold lines. You're going to be folding the paper. So that being said, some key points that you need to follow along and, and keep in mind as you're doing this is number one, we have to fold the paper first of all and shade it with a specific color so it represents the first fraction in the equation. So look at the first fraction and then make it using paper folds and then shade it. Kind of like what you did in grade two. Second step, fold the same paper in the opposite direction and then color it in to represent the second fraction. And then the third step, is going to be, you're going to count the overlapping colors. So in the first step, you're going to choose one color. In this step here, you're going to choose one color. But in the second step, you're going to use a different color. So that's key here. You want to use two different colors and you want to fold in the opposite direction. Otherwise, it just doesn't work properly. Then you're going to count the overlapping colors. I'm not going to really help you very much if I talk about it. I have to show it to you. So let's do an example. Let's go one half of one half. Now let's see what this all means here. Well, one half of a, of a half, the word of means multiply. If you see the word of in between two fractions or any two numbers, you're going to be multiplying those numbers. So what we're going to do first is fold the paper in half and shade one of them. So fold in two pieces, shade one. What it looks like then is something like this excuse my uh, crooked lines, what we have here now is two pieces and then color it in. So we can take a crayon and make it bigger and start coloring that guy in. Just go like this, one half. So I've done this part. I've done this. Now I have to do the other fraction in the opposite direction. So take out your paper and fold it in the opposite way so we fold it vertically, now we'll fold horizontally, fold it in half again, and ignore this vertical line. Look, we have two pieces here, just like this says two, and shade one in, using a different color. So I might wanna use red. So I'm gonna shade like anyone, just shade the whole half. So I'm ignoring the vertical line, I see two pieces, I see one up on the top and one on the bottom, and like this says, over here, it says shade one of them, and I did. Now I look for the overlapping colors, and what I notice is that there is only one box overlapping, one box out of the four. That's my answer. So let's do another example. So at this point here, you have a piece of paper that looks like mine exactly, and um, you're done with that paper. Let's get another paper now. So let's go two thirds multiplied by three fourths. Another way of saying this is two thirds of three fourths. Don't get tricked by that, it just means multiply. So now you know it's multiplying. We can make two thirds and um, we can go vertically or horizontally. Let's go uh, vertically for this one. Let's make thirds like this. And it says shade two of them. So we whip out our crayon or whatever tool that you've got, and we are going to shade any two. Like so. Now we look at the second fraction, and we see that we need to shade three-fourths, but we gotta go in the opposite direction. So let's make horizontal lines now. We're gonna chop it into four pieces. So chop it in half, and chop each piece now in half again, and now you've got, now ignore these vertical lines now for a second. Just look horizontal. We got one, two, three, four, and we're going to color any three of those in. And we have to change the color. So we colored red first. Maybe we want to color yellow second. So we're, we'll color all of this. That's one piece. And all of this is two. And all of this is three. And now we just got to count p overlapping colors. I see overlapping here and here. And there, and there, and there, and there. There's six boxes overlapping out of, let's see here, we got 12 all together now. Six over 12, which if you reduce it, you get, let's see, you get one half. 
And if you're not sure how I did that, I just divide it by six, and I divide it by six, and it reduces down to one half. And that's it. That's how you divide fractions using a paper fold. But, you know, you want to make sure you know how to do this, so try the next one on your own. Let's go ahead and write, let's go and write, let's say, uh, one-fourth of three-fifths. Let's do that. Go ahead and pause the video. Pause it and see how well you do. Assuming you did that, you should have done one-fourth first off. So we could have done chop this in half and then chop it in half again, and chop it in half again, and then color one in. Like so. And then look at the second fraction. And the second fraction has three fifths. So we gotta make five pieces the other way. So you may have done this one, two, three, four, five. And out of those five horizontal pieces, we need to shade in three of them. So we'll whip out a different color and we'll go, we'll shade all of this and we'll shade all of that and we'll shade all of this guy here. And if you count the overlapping pieces, we have, this is overlapping, this is overlapping, this is overlapping. We've got three out of, let's count them. We got five, 10, 15, 20. Oh, actually, how much do we have? We have four, eight, 12, 16, 20. The answer is 3 20ths, ladies and gentlemen. If you got it right, you are a champion now at multiplying fractions using paper folds.